Tonight, a family is now free to file a lawsuit against the Florida University where their son died five years ago. 19-year-old Nick Blakely collapsed during football practice at Stetson University and died at the hospital. And up until last week, the university was shielded from liability in Nick's death. But an appeals court decision has reversed that. News 6's Treasure Roberts is live in the newsroom with some reaction from the family tonight. Treasure. Matt, after learning about the court's reverse decision, Nick Blakely's mother says she was overjoyed. She and her attorney are now considering filing another claim against Stetson University for punitive damages. Just taking it one day at a time. I have good days. I have bad days. Um, and I guess that will never end. Yeah, Nick is gone. Michelle Wilson is the mother of Nick Blakely, a former football player at Stetson University. She now has another shot at getting justice for her son, who died in 2017 after collapsing during practice. I don't want another mother to go through what I went through. Wilson brought a lawsuit against the university seeking punitive damages for her son's death. Before collapsing, Blakely told an athletic trainer he didn't feel well. His mother says staff should have done more. <sighs> It made me sick. But Blakely signed a liability waiver, which stalled Wilson's attempts to sue in court. They've held me hostage for five years. That changed on Friday when an appeals court reversed a prior decision. New court documents show Stetson University may have been liable for Blakely's death. Wilson's attorney, Lance Rain, says the waiver Blakely signed to play football was ambiguous. The court has decided ultimately that it, the way it was worded, it wasn't clear, and Nick uh, it was very confusing to, for him to know what he was giving up. Rain says Blakely showed cardiac symptoms during practice, like chest congestion and shallow breathing. If an athlete, a student athlete, 19-year-old young man, complains of chest pain in a practice, um, then that should be an automatic red flag to send them to a doctor to get evaluated. Rain says at the time there was no mandatory EKG testing. Now Blakely's mom is pushing for more health screenings for athletes. So Michelle's waited a long time to have her day in court, and then this was kind of a, you know, a detour. And now we're back on the road again. And the road has always been the same goal, and that's to get justice for Nick and to make sure hopefully this doesn't happen to any young men. Stetson University issued a statement on the court ruling. It reads, Stetson University is involved in litigation and as such cannot comment on the particulars of the case other than to say it is exploring all appellate options. Stetson was greatly saddened by Nick's passing and offers its continuing thoughts and prayers to his family and friends. Before seeking damages from Stetson University, Wilson's attorney says they have to find new evidence. But he says the goal is to get back in front of a judge. Matt.